So before the night's up, she's gonna reach out to him and ask, where is he? Where would Lewis be? The session ended with everyone back at the beach house. He's gonna get a phone call. Hello. Hey, Lewis, it's, it's me. You didn't go home yet, did you? Nah, I'm still here at the club. I mean, not in it, but outside of it. The club? Why not finish the night? Could I pull you away from that? Hmm. Yeah, probably. I guess I have to um, sneak out of here. I guess it should be easy. I have this costume. Yeah, use it to your advantage. Oh, hold on. I know what to do. In the background, you hear a bunch of speaker systems begin to play annoying music. All right. <laughs> nice distraction, Lewis. All right, I'm. where do you want to meet? She's really wondering what the hell he just did. Oh, God, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't think this far ahead. I, I really should have. Do you drink? Miss B mentioned that, well, Julius didn't drink. Do you drink? Well, here's the thing. I like it, but uh, I wake up and like sometimes I'll be missing a couple fingers and I'll have a really dumb robot to deal with. So most of the time I try not to. But being that it's Valentine's night, I'll make an exception. Just like if you see me like fiddling with a machine and like really really fixated on it just kind of like you know maybe s just take it out of my hands before i make it you know yeah. alive okay well i don't know if drinking is the uh the ideal thing here then yeah i, I generally i mean don't get me wrong it is fun but like you know you, you make a microwave like you give it sentience and then like you got to deal with it asking like you know why do you need to eat so many burritos? And I don't like having that conversation with my microwave. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, what's wrong with just going back to your place? Mm. Sorry, is that too bold? It's a little forward. Oh, but it's like so late. I guess. But just so you know, I'm not like easy. You know what <laughs> I mean? Oh, my God, Lewis. I wasn't going to do anything. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm saving it for marriage. Are you serious? No. <laughs> but, like, maybe I, I mean, I'm probably, like, I bet that's, like, not the worst thing. But I don't know. Look, I mean, if you want to hang out, I guess I have, like, movies. Yeah. Uh, I would love that. I mean, I guess I don't even need to warn you. But, you know, <clears throat> the uh, wildlife there is a little unruly. It's something that i expect every time i'm there at this point lewis cool yeah yeah you, you should because because <sighs> more than one person has decided that's a little much for them and i don't i don't blame them you know i don't it's a little hectic i know well whatever are you just going there and sweet sangria i could uh i guess do you want to leave it for your friends yeah that's kind of my thought process right now. I brought my own car. Could you come pick me up? Yeah, I think you'll like this one. Not that sweet sangria is any any bad or anything. It's just, well, you'll see. Be there soon. All right, I look forward to it. The loud music in the background is getting like louder. And you can actually hear Kev in the background. Like, what the hell? Who did this? Lewis, where are you going, Lewis? He hangs up. She's left wondering what the music was about, but she goes to Sweet Sangria and grabs uh, two of the drinks that hadn't gotten drank yet and goes back into the kitchen to pour them into a thermos and then waits outside doing some breath work, staring out at the night sky. At some point later, a very strange brown car pulls up. Sweet Sangria may be his favorite. There are other cars in his fleet. Uh, this one has a very smooth body with hidden wheels behind like its body, its chassis. They're, the wheels are covered. It has a low growl as it approaches. She gets up and saunters up to the vehicle. Damn. She's uh, staring at the car in appreciation. Yeah, one of the windows it looks like it melts down. Like it's so fused with the side of the car that it's hard to tell where the seams are. He just kind of like leans out with his robot head. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm so used to sweet sangria. I I just uh, I guess this must be what people feel like. What do you mean? Oh, like when they see one of your cars, you know. 
I'm a little taken aback, honestly. It looks really cool. Oh, uh, this is just Whiskey Girl. She's one of the newer ones. Supposedly, she can fly, but I am a little bit too chicken shit to try that out, honestly. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, guess I'll just show myself in here. She approaches the vehicle on the opposite side. Yeah, the door kind of glides open, slides back to let you in. Wow, that's really cool. Once you're inside, you'll notice that it is like a pretty, unlike Sweet Sangria, which has like a very comfortable, kind of cozy interior. This one is like very, everything's smooth and like scalloped and round and it all looks very like, like it's one piece almost. Like it's been like sculpted. It's still comfortable, but it's not like, uh, it doesn't have the upholstery like Sweet Sangria does. You know, this is like a really crazy thing to say and this might get me thrown out of the car. But I'm gonna say it anyway. These cars, I'm sure they're worth a lot and I have no idea what the price tag could be. It's just that everyone comments about it, but she looks like she doesn't want to say the rest. If, let's say, the origin of where these cars came from, if something were to happen to them, the price tag on these things would go up astronomically. I'll put it that way, because these things are... Again, I'm used to sweet, sweet sangria. This thing just like is just wow. You get used to it. I, I know. Guess so it probably sounds like a boring rich person thing to say, but honestly, when you're like hand raising these sometimes pain in the ass machines, although whiskey girl is pretty nice. You know, they're like um, sometimes I feel like a farmer and you know, just kind of raising these. They were horses or cows and. People say they're nice and everything, but I'm like washing them and scrubbing them and chasing them out of my kitchen when they're smaller. Oh, thank God they're too big to get through the door. Trust me. If you've ever had a tiny car drive into your leg at like 2 a.m. in the morning, it smarts and they run right over your feet. Not fun. <laughs> wow, you hand raise them yourself. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, Sometimes the other robots will help, but they slack off. Can't really trust them. You know how it is, kids. He starts up the engine again with like a touch of his finger on the dash and the car kind of like growls to life and begins to like rev a little before it uh, reverses, does a U-turn and takes off away from the beach house. The uh, The ride is pretty smooth, almost like it's gliding. It doesn't it's like it doesn't go up or down or anything. It's just like one straight line. I guess you're really in the cars, huh? No, not not really. Yeah, uh, me neither. What? But you you care about them a lot. Well, the ones that you make anyway. Oh well, yeah, I just don't really think of them as cars. I guess. Yeah, I don't really think of Sweet Sangria as a car. I mean, she's alive. That's so much more than a car. Yeah, it's kind of how I feel about it. There are times, though, when it's, like, weird. Because, you know, if they stay alive for long enough, I imagine eventually they're going to, you know, kick the bucket. Hasn't happened yet, but who knows? Seriously? They can they can die of old age? I don't know. I think so. But I'm not sure. That's pretty interesting. I mean, some of them have just died of un unnatural causes. So sometimes I'm worried about it. Is there like a machine heaven or something? Kind of freaks me out a little. I'm sure that they would go to the same heaven as everyone else. Maybe. But then like, so if they have a soul, where does it come from? Because it's like, I still have my soul. I don't know. These are really heavy questions for a date, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess a little bit. Hey, um, I'm sorry about what happened tonight. I know that was really weird. I'm glad you came out, though. I'm sorry that we're a bunch of trouble. Uh, I, I guess I should say I'm a bunch of trouble. Mm, finally takes his dumb robot helmet off because the windows are tinted. Yeah, uh, trouble. Uh, don't worry about it. I guess, to be honest, I mean, I've been known to be some trouble myself, definitely. Oh? Feels, well, yeah, I mean, it's not like I got clumsy with a butter knife and, you know, cut my legs off or anything. If anything, actually, your trouble is refreshing. Although, all those old people with the 
cleavers was i've never really seen anything like that before so that was fun fun yeah i was being sarcastic it was pretty scary oh yeah just another night where i wasn't really sure how things were gonna end yeah, i hope you don't like take offense at this but like have you ever seen anything like that on earth she sort of looks away nervously kind of but it's a little embarrassing that's fine sorry i can't imagine talking about earth is all that interesting to you anyway i don't want to be a geek i guess but it's kind of interesting actually hmm. well like sometimes i think if i wasn't a member of the board and i didn't have all these responsibilities like i really want to try using my stand to you're gonna think this is like a weird pickup thing okay no no please i was I, I was thinking about asking you something and this is kind of along the lines of that so keep going yeah i feel like a weirdo i was gonna maybe see about using my stand to do environmental stuff on earth i mean they need all sorts of machines and there's so many old machines there that I love old machines because they're so crazy to mutate and and mix together. They don't they're not as narrow as really really new machines. They're fun to work with. Windmills, water pumps, uh, water filtration systems, even something as simple as like rescue robots or robot dogs to like sniff out things and i don't know i mean i got all sorts of ideas but can't really do any of it seven nation army doesn't want it they've like said un under no circumstances that they want any of my machines down there and i abide totally because i get it you know it's their territory still i bet i could probably do at least like a little good i don't know she looks transfixed to what he's saying <laughs> i had no idea that's that's really Wow, Lewis, that's a precious, precious thought. Ah, oh, come on. No, it just wasn't like I said, please. It's not like a thing. I had it. I had the thought before I met you at all. Not to say that, like, you know, I don't know what I'm saying, I guess. No, this this is good. I honestly, I wanted to get to asking. <sighs> OK, so I had sort of a crazy night and I heard some crazy things and it got me thinking, just really wondering if um, something you said, I guess it just got to me, all right? I don't know. This is really heartening to hear. Oh, uh, why? What did he say? <sighs> I don't know if I can really tell you without it getting into the weeds, but um, basically I wanted to ask if you had any sort of, you know, passion projects or dreams or any sort of thing, you know, that, or if you just felt like you just were born to be yellow. I guess that's a weird mixed bag. I mean, I was born for this, obviously. I've been doing this since, God, <laughs> before I hit puberty. What? As, as a child? Yeah, I don't like really talking a ton about it, but I was there at the Red Moon Massacre. That whole ordeal with the Seven Nation Army that happened? That Wow. What were they doing sending... She shuts up abruptly. Sorry. That's cool. I, I, it was... Jeff was in trouble, and I wanted to help because he's my big brother. So I kind of threw myself at it, not really knowing anything about war. And um, it was pretty bad, I guess. No, I don't guess it was. It was really bad. It was a bad idea. But, I mean, I lived, I guess, and, and I, I don't know. It's not something, like, that I'm proud of because, you know, people died, so. Uh, hey, uh, Sarek, by the way, who just joined. Yeah, hey, we're just, uh, she wanted to do a scene and record it. I was, uh, that's all I was just going to ask. You doing one of those, like, solo sessions? Okay, all right. Yeah, kind of. I, I won't interrupt. Yeah, I, just, I was just dropping in to see what was up, that's all. You guys uh, have fun. I don't know. You can you can stay if you want, but no, I mean it's no, just no, like a no, short no. thing. No, to... I know how it is, man. No, you got uh, fucking. I don't even remember his name. Uh, mm. The character that Marisol's hot for. I I get it, dude. I understand, I understand what you guys are. Up. Don't worry. I'm out. Well, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's first of all, 
you got the wrong impression. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be recorded. It'll be put up in the video replays. Yeah, hey man, look, I don't, I don't judge you, your kinks or anything. You know, whatever keeps it exciting oh, for you guys. So yeah. Please include this part in the fucking recording. I, I guess I will. Thanks.